How's it going everybody? Uh, tap the screen or just a reply yes if you can hear me. Just want to make sure, uh, I'm not using my headphones today, so I want to make sure everybody can hear me. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day, one of the last few nice days in Wisconsin. So I thought I'd come outside and do this periscope. Man, unbelievable. How's everybody doing? Uh, before we get started here, just uh, you know, let me know where you're from, what type of player you are, or what level player you are, singles, doubles, um, if you're on a state league team. Uh, let me know where you are. I see some names that I recognize popping up. It's good to see you guys back. So where you're from and uh, what level player you are, or if you play singles or doubles, because this is a, a Periscope topic that appeals to both singles and doubles. Let's see, who, who, who do we have in here, guys? Let's see. Jersey Shore, Randy. What's going on, Randy? 3-5 doubles. Jersey Shore. Got a lot of new faces in here. Cowtown. Where's the Cowtown, John? Rob in Detroit, 3-5. Rob, singles or doubles? All right, well, good, yeah, good, okay. Um, Fort Worth, nice. Uh, Indiana, man, that must be a rough year for the Colts, eh? Hey? Uh, sorry, I won't get into that. Uh, but anyways, um, what do you do when things start getting tough? Because tennis is a sport with a significant number of ups and downs that happen throughout the course of a match. And um, it's very difficult to maintain. You know, everybody says, oh, you know, play one point at a time and... I get that. <laughs> Trust me, I get that. But sometimes it's just not, you know, your mind starts to wander a little bit in terms of, well, oh my gosh, what if I lose? You know, my, my significant other is here watching me for the first time. My parents are here watching me. My son or daughter is watching me. And inevitably we start to have this little bit of insecurity that goes on uh, when things start to go, um, you know, bad. And I was listening to the radio the other day and something that, you know, I don't think about much because for me, a lot of the stuff that, you know, I, I give to you on these periscopes are, are things that I've been doing for years and that I know. But it was a great reminder. I heard a football coach talking about uh, when things get tough, do less. Um, and it kind of seems a little counterintuitive because you'd think that, well, if things are, you know, going wrong, I've got to do something different or, you know, change the course of action. Um and, and, you know, in some cases that can lead to a little bit of frustration or uh, a, a tightness or tension. Um, and tension and frustration in tennis inevitably will be to a detriment. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to play tennis when you're angry or when you're frustrated or when, you know, you're tense. But we all know that playing, you know, relaxed and smooth is, is where you can, re, you know, achieve your best results and feel like you're playing the best. So do less. Now for singles, uh, for those of you who are singles players out watching, um, do less. And what I try to focus on when I'm playing singles and things aren't going my way is I try to get back to the, the basics. That means, you know, get my feet moving. Um, is number one. Uh, the other thing is watch the ball and be relaxed. Um, those are the three like real tech technique. I mean, and it's not really even technique. Uh, it's more so of just like three basic elements of tennis. Uh, and I, I'm not a huge, uh, I don't think about technique during a match. I, I, tr I really try not to like, oh my gosh, am I turning my shoulders? You know, am I, am I getting my racket in X, Y, or Z position? You know, I don't really think about technique, technique too much. I do a lot of just get the ball back in play. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, amazingly beautiful, but it's got to get back in play. Um, so I, I think move my feet, uh, watch the ball, you know, and, and by watching the ball, I mean strive for good contact um, because good contact is huge and, um, and be relaxed. Uh, now, from a strategical standpoint, if you're playing singles, um, 
yeah, I see this so much. Uh, you know, you'll you'll start seeing a player getting frustrated, and all of a sudden they'll start like hitting out on a lot of shots, like going for winners. And you know, I, I've seen it work on both ends of the spectrum. You know, I, I was watching the Wisconsin Boys State Championships a few years ago, and and a kid that just you know was in the third set, he started cramping, and that's not necessarily a well. Some people argue it's a mental thing, but uh, cramping is a both physical and mental, but. You know, he just started slapping shots, knowing that he couldn't rally, and, and to, for him it worked that day. And, but I've seen on many, many more occasions that people get frustrated, they start going for big shots, and then and they start missing, and that frustration mounts. You know, it's it's you know from a strategical standpoint, move your feet, keep the ball in play, cross court, play you know safe, look to get yourself back into some sort of rhythm, because you will not. I mean, chances are you're not going to play your worst. Your worst. I'm using my little air quotes on that. Your worst tennis the entire match. Uh, you will at some point break out of your funk. You will at some point hit a great shot. Uh, and if you can keep yourself free and relaxed, and allow yourself to say, "Oh yeah, maybe that was a good shot." Hey, I'm hitting the ball a little bit better right now. Um, you know that will help you by doing less, by not trying to think about too much. By kind of putting yourself on autopilot, you have a better chance of being um, aware enough to get yourself out of the funk that you currently find yourself in. Um, so for singles, that's for singles. Cross court, high percentage tennis, uh, make them play, get the ball back in, you know, simple, simple, simple stuff. Now, for doubles, and this is very hard for me to really take hold. Um, I'm a very competitive person by nature. Uh, so I've always been the one in my doubles matches to feel like I want to win the point. Like I want to hit a winner. I want to hit a, an awesome drop shot. And yeah, I'm, I'm skilled enough to do that sometimes. Um, but that's not the normal case. And the, the biggest thing for me in playing good, solid, competitive doubles um, was to play my part. Uh, to not feel that I needed to do everything to win, to you know, focusing on making my serve, making my first volley, playing the ball cross court. Uh, for me, I'm actually a, a doubles player that does not like to serve and volley. I, I like to stay back on the baseline, hit low flat ground strokes. Um, but one of my biggest mistakes was I'd take those low flat ground strokes and I'd try to hit winners. Like I'd go down the line. And I'd, you know, I'd inevitably hit errors. And so my realization came was, okay, like maybe on the first two or three shots, I play cross court. I keep it simple. I hit through the middle instead of trying to create angles with my ground strokes. Um, and and ha having confidence in the ability to make two or three balls down the middle and, and tough balls, like hitting low, hitting hard, uh, but just getting the ball in play, and making them have to come up with the goods was a way that I learned to manage my mistakes. So when things were going bad, I just said, look, get it cross court, keep it low, hit through the middle when they're both up at the net, do the simple stuff. Don't put the pressure on yourself to try to come up with these amazing shots and hit your way out of your little funk. I mean, your job is to be smart, your job is to be steady, P do your role, You know, play your part in doubles, and if you're having a bad day and, and you're, you're, you go back to the basics, like I said in singles, you'll kind of have the awareness to stay calm and to find your way out of the slump. Uh, so that's my really quick two cents for you today on Periscope. Um, when things go wrong, do less. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that you guys, uh, I'm seeing a, a, a large amount of hearts uh, it really, you know, shows me that you guys are are hearing this message, and and it's a really important one. I feel um, because a lot of people will do just the opposite when things get tough. They'll just try to do more and try to create something that may not be there, or they may not have the ability to. Um, so just keep this in mind: when things are going wrong or things aren't, you know, exactly your way, do less. Get back to the basics. And uh, hopefully it'll allow yourself to be able to snap out of it. So before I go, um, I just want to say good luck to the Green Bay Packers. They play Monday night tonight against the Kansas City Chief, a game that I am uh, very much looking forward to watching. Um, any question? Uh, for sure, all those things need tons of practice in match situation. Yeah, um, yeah. The more practice, you know, more practice matches you can get, the the, the better. Uh, you know, it's practicing. Um, it's practicing putting yourself in pressure situations. Um, 
I mean, playing practice matches is so underrated. Uh, you know, people are like, oh, my gosh, I, I don't want to, you know, play a practice match against Johnny, uh, who's a 4-0, and I'm a 4-0, because maybe my team will think if I lose a set in practice, if Johnny's going to take my number one single spot. Like, people are scared to, to lose and to put themselves out there. And that's frustrating for me, personally. Um, I love competition. Um, I mean, if you told me you walked your dog for 20 minutes, I'll, I'll tell you, I don't even have a dog, but I'd tell you I'd walk my dog for 25 minutes. Uh, you know, I'm just that kind of guy, which can be annoying for some of my friends. Uh, but anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, I'll, I'll stay on the line here for about another 30 seconds, but then I got to head back inside and do some more work. Uh, but any questions for me, uh, really happy that you guys enjoyed this periscope. All right, uh, you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you guys again soon. All right. Gotta figure out how to work this thing.